Yo, what's good, y'all? Back with another one. I'm doing a real in-depth breakdown of the Knicks versus the Heat. Yes, I gave my prediction of why I think the Knicks will win the series, but I'm going to dig a little bit deeper now to why do I why I believe that. First off, like I said yesterday, the Knicks have more pieces. They have more talent. Actually, seven of the top 10 players in this series, to be real with y'all, is on New York. Like, we got to tell the truth, especially with no Tyler Hero around. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why I feel the way I feel. But at the end of the day, like I said, Eric Spolstra and Jimmy Butler scared the fuck out of me, especially Eric Spolstra. He's the one who scares me. I'm not even, it's not even about Jimmy Butler as much as it is about Eric Spolstra because Eric Spolstra is one of the greatest coaches to ever walk earth. I'm just keeping it real with y'all, man. Like people know how much respect I got for Spo. He's that fucking great of a coach to me. Like he can make fucking chicken salad out of chicken shit. Like that's just the way dude moves. And that whole Miami heat culture is just real. Like it ain't no fucking, it ain't no fucking myth. Like, Game six, Clay Thompson is. It's fucking real. Eric Spolstra is that fucking dude, man. But I just think that for the first time, and I think for the first time, Tom Thibodeau going against Eric Spolstra. Tom Thibodeau has a better team for the very first time in his career when he goes against Spo. He has a better team. So that's why Tom Thibodeau is no excuses about why New York shouldn't win this series, in my opinion. There's no excuses. I know Miami has more experience, and I definitely respect the hell out of the Heat, but it's just that I just think that they're bring like they're they're just they're just shorthanded. You feel what I'm saying? Because New York has more perimeter defenders than Milwaukee does. Like you can go check go check the tape. It's the truth. Outside of outside of Drew Holiday. The Bucks don't really have many that many good perimeter defenders. They don't. It's like I'm just keeping it real. I'm not sitting here being a homer and I'm not sitting here with fake propaganda. Like Quentin Grimes, RJ, Deuce McBride, Josh Hart. That's more perimeter defenders than what Milwaukee can offer. So they're going to give Jimmy a little bit more trouble than what the Bucks did. Where the Bucks were better at. Of course, obviously, is in, the, is in the paint because you got Giannis and Brooke Lopez. But I think that when the Heat do their switches, because the Heat switch a lot on defense, when they do their switches and Bam has the guard on the perimeter, that's going to leave them extremely vulnerable in the back end for rebounds if a jump shot goes up because Mitchell Robinson is absolutely destroying teams on the rebounds, well, mostly Cleveland. And Cleveland got two seven-footers who can rebound. Jared Allen is a good rebounder for his career, and so is Evan Mobley. And he pushed and moved both of them out of the way. So he's going to, he's going to have similar success against the Heat. I think I wouldn't be surprised if Eric Spolstra literally has somebody or has two people watch Mitchell Robinson on box outs just because of that. I want I wouldn't be surprised at that one fucking bit. Because Spo is a strategist. He watches everything. That's why I said he's the one who scares me the most, even more than any Miami Heat player that they have, that they offer. Because that man knows how to fucking strategize with the best of them all time. But like I said, too, I just think New York just has a better team at this point in time. Like, you follow what I'm saying? So that's why I think the Knicks are going to win the series. And yes, I did. And yes, I said seven games because Spoh's that fucking great of a coach. At the end of the day, like I said, I expect New York to win because I don't think that Miami can keep up shooting 45% from three-point land and have six guys shoot over 40% from three. Ah, That's completely unsustainable. And this time they're going to be in a dogfight this series with someone who can actually defend on the perimeter a lot better than Milwaukee, even though Milwaukee is a better team and they had the best record in the NBA, their perimeter defense has always been suspect outside of Drew Holiday.
But y'all tell me what y'all think. I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.